Hi. So um, I wanted to try how these tutorial videos work. And I will show you a little demo of what you can do with uh, Python Pandas. Um, if you have the task to clean up your website, more or less. And the idea is to get um, data from Google Analytics about the performance of your worst articles and uh, also get some crawl data and combine these two data sets to get some idea what to delete and to verify what to delete and to also get final URLs. But it's not about the case really, it's more about showing how Python and Pandas works in this scenario. And of course there are options with APIs which are much more elegant, but I will show basically two examples based on uh, Excel files and uh, CSV files to get started here. So uh, the first thing I did is I started to get some data from Google Analytics and I did it with the, the tool you probably know in, um, in Google Sheets where you can get Google Analytics data and it basically gets all the page views and entrances uh, within the last uh, 700 days. And it, it's sorted by uh, the page, the dimension is the page path. And um, there is some filtering. And the filtering uh, is basically filtering for IDs. I can show you this here. So basically that's the website and you can see every uh, every, every URL has uh, this ID and at the end uh, uh, having HTML. And what this does is it's looking for the IDs and it's looking in this case for IDs uh, with six digits from zero to nine. And in addition, it looks for page views, page views being less than five. And in addition, that's the first, the third rule. They are all um, end connected. And the third rule is uh, it's looking for URLs without uh, basically parameters. So if, if there would be a parameter, then there would be a, um, this one. You see, um, and limit is as high as you can. It also has some additional things to get more data, less sampling. And if you run that, um, you get something like this. Ah, come on. It's something like this. Uh, so you see here the page views of these super bad articles and also the entrances. In addition, you can see that there's no sampling. So yeah, because of uh, basically because of this one. Um, I did it here the same in the same way. So it's multiple data sets. That's more for demo purposes. You would better do that all together with the API. Um, but you can see here um, that this is all with uh, starting with a one, with a two, with a three. So that's basically the rule for all URLs in this uh, for this website. So. Now let's start with uh, the Python stuff. The first thing I want to do now is I have a Jupyter notebook running and I import some, some stuff here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to import this data. So what I did in the Excel sheet, I, I basically pressed export. So where is it? Download as a Excel file. It could also be a CSV or whatever. Um, and now I get this. That's that's more or less what you need to get the information. You you read the Excel file. You that's the file is in the same directory, so I export it to the same directory. Um, and maybe interesting. Let's get all of them. It's not so elegant like this, but yeah, who cares. Um, and let's get the information of the first one. So that's if you want to, to do an output. So maybe go like this. So these 
grab the information and this one should give an output. This will take a while because it's now loading five times uh, this Excel sheet. But should could also be multiple Excel sheets or whatever. So why is there a 14, header 14? That's more or less the, the naming row. So like, like this one. And it's 14 because uh, we start counting at zero. So this is 14. And if this worked well, then we should get an output here. Um, again, it's, it's much more uh, efficient to do it with the Google Analytics API, but not everyone has access and there you need more advanced uh, skills in Python to, to do it. I can show that maybe in another video, but let's see if there will be another. Um, so there you have it. That's the important information starting from line 15. And here's all the data and blah and so on. Cool, so first thing I now want to do because all of these look the same and of course could be done at once but it's cool to show that you com can combine data sets and could do it maybe like this i will delete this one and what this does is it combines all these data sets the data sets need to be the same they need to look they need to have the same structure but in this case this works and you can see here this was 30k this was the first one only, and this one is all the ones combined, which is much more. Cool. So um, now what I want to do is uh, let's get rid of all this bullshit here because it's just these three columns I need. And this could be done with uh, a copy. So maybe somehow like this, I no, that's not like this. So I go for the data frame and just get these three as it's an array and that it does a copy. And if I run this, I should just have um, the three. Okay, cool. So the next thing I want to do is, um, I want to now prepare out of this data for a crawl. And um, there you can go with some regular expression and cut out of, uh, let's name it differently. Let's name it uh, Google Analytics. Um, what I do now is in, in within page, page is uh, basically what, what was meant in mentioned in um, Google Analytics? It just has it has not a full URL, and also there are many weird ones, and maybe there is uh, some which don't exist anymore, and others uh, whatever, and maybe something in here has changed, and the ID was the same. So I want to basically get the ID. and that can be done in the same way. So you you get page as a column and then you do a, a regular expression uh, extraction and you look here for um, starting with the ID having then the numbers uh, whatever count and it ends with an dot html so you can see here blah 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 starts with an ID then the numbers and it ends with dot html so if I run this, I should have in the data frame another uh, column showing the ID. So you see here, and the cool thing here is that it's extracting numbers, but this one is ignored because of the rule with, it has to start with the ID and has to end with HTML. So I think we are fine here having the IDs. Um, <clears throat> And after having the IDs, um, I want to 
create uh, short URLs because um, I can show you here. If you go like this within this platform, it's redirected based on the ID to the real URL. There's just one unique URL and it's based, there's a redirect based on that. So what I want to have is something like that. Can I go back here? No, I don't think so. Yeah, something like that I want to generate now. And uh, in Python, you can combine um, URLs with, uh, you can combine a string with a plus. And it could be done like this. So it's saying, yeah, you have this one. And then you take the information out of this column and add a slash at the end. And if we check this one, I actually, I want to run it without all this shit here. Uh, maybe run this one again. You can you can always start start over here in in Jupyter Notebook, uh, which is really cool. But now you see, okay, there is uh, there is this URL now, and if I open this one, it should redirect somewhere. And actually, this information. So what's happening here to here? That's the information I want to to get. So with the crawl now. So next step for me is I want to get all of these and run it with a crawler. So I can show you here. That's how I export. Um, I go for short URL. I push it to a CSV. And if I run it, uh, something's not working. Short URL. Uh, Uh, ah, because I pressed the button up there. Shit. Okay, let's run again from here. Let's wait. I hope this works. Uh, if this works, then we should have in here an export. And yeah, that's correct. That's now. That's the export. You see here? It's uh, all the URLs uh, in a CSV. So that's how you do the export to CSV. It's uh, tab separated in this case. Okay, so now let's imagine I've crawled these. So I used uh, Screaming Frog and um, I imported all the URLs and I basically, I just did, I think one important uh, setup here which is um, always follow redirects. I think that's the important one. And when I went through, I you see here that that's all the URLs which uh, I put into the tool. So basically it's all the short URLs and then it was crawled and then it generated all this, uh, no, the other way around, that's the 200s. So these are fine and these are not fine. And there's were some errors of course, but yeah. So, and what you do now is uh, you export here the redirect chains. And I think I won't open this file because that's a really big one. And uh, I don't want to stress my PC. So what I do now, I have this file with, which is called redirects, redirect chains. Uh, it's an Excel file. And now I import this file, which is coming out of the crawl back in. And um, you can see here, I copied the file to the same folder. And now I'm getting the first, uh, the first row as the naming row, um, because that's how the file looks. Um, in addition, I opened it once to check how the, the sheet name is of the important information. This will take a while, I think, but now it's loading the whole data from the crawl into Python pandas and it still has the information from the Google Analytics. Um, and now we can do some cool things because, um, or basically let's see what's coming here. I already know. 
but uh, let's wait a little bit. Uh, it's the crawl information, so it looks like this. Can you see it? You know, it's not possible. Okay, let's wait. Ah, there it is. So you see here, um, that's the, the crawled information. And basically I'm interested in just three columns here. It's the address column, the final address column, because that's the information I want to know. And I want to maybe know if the final uh, is indexable, because if, if it's not indexable, it's not so important for my deletion later on. So what I first do is I, that's already also prepared. I get just these three. So I just get address, final address, final indexability, and push it into uh, to overwrite the data frame. In addition, I want to have um, out of this one, the ID, because I want to match these later on. So basically, the ID within the final address will be my matching thing to match with the data from Google Analytics. So let's, no, sorry. That can be done like this. Okay, yeah, let's check it. Uh, looks like this, okay. So now I have here the IDs, which is super cool to match. Um, and the other thing is I know that the sum in here are bullshit. So like these are not good. I just want to go for these. And um, there's another function in Python. I will add it here. Um, you can basically filter and uh, it can be done like, like, uh, like this. Uh, let's go for this. Uh, and then we want to have here the filter and the filter is checking if this one so oh sorry the final indexability is indexable let's see if this works What's wrong? Do, do, do. Oh, there's one more. No, I don't think so. This one is too much. So like this, let's see. Yeah, you see? And now you don't have uh, the bad ones in there. Okay, so we are at the point to merge the two data sets, I would say. So let's go here and merge. And merge is, so we want to merge the data frame, which is not so good in the naming, the DF data frame, with the data frame of the crawl. Okay. So, and this can be done like, like that copy pasted it. So data frame of Google um, Analytics and data frame of the crawl. And you want to merge it with, in this case, the Google, uh, the ID of Google Analytics, of the Google Analytics crawl. And in this case, it's called ID crawl. And if we do that, we can merge the two data sets. This is pretty fast compared to if you do it in Excel, it's like a nightmare. So, but you now see that not in any case it, it uh, matched. So you need a little bit of cleanup and you want to go and clean up maybe like this, which is checking for all the ones which are not null. So that's not null and there's also, I think there should also be the other way around should also be some and uh, the merge data frame with some cleanup looks then like this. Um, I will delete this one and run it again. So like this. And now we have it all in one data set. 
So it's a lot of duplicate information now, like short URL and address, it's all duplicate. And um, I can show you maybe this one, that's an option to drop something. So if you don't want to have this duplicate information, you can say drop the column ad address and uh, that's done like this. Okay. So uh, let's check it. You see no, no address anymore. Okay, so because now I maybe will go through the list and check if there is other rules. And if I find other rules, then I will add it here. Um, so maybe now I want to export it again. And uh, this is done like this, like, this, like uh, shown before. So if I run this, then it's generating basically this table into this file in the same folder. And as a as something which is also super uh, heavy in Excel and always crashes Excel, I want to show you a pivot table in uh, in uh, Python pandas. And this thing is doing like it's uh, looking for the folder. Ah, oh shit, I'm too early. I want to generate the folder first. Okay, let's generate the folder. Uh, also, this is too early. <laughs> um, so basically, if I now have this list of URLs, I now have not just the short URLs or the old URLs which have been in uh, Google Analytics. I also have um, this one, the final current URLs because I crawled it. Um, maybe I want to get the folder because I want to go now, for example, to the people who are responsible for sports and say, guys, I want to delete all of these articles because they have zero performance or almost zero performance. And can you please give me feedback and can, can you tell if this is okay? Of course, this is thousands of URLs and no one will do it probably, but in theory, you want to um cluster now your urls based on um the folder and that can be done with a regular expression too and this regular expression looks like this so it's going for the final address and checking within the final address for this pattern like uh yeah basically a url and the first folder um is extracted so if I run this, uh, I should have an additional uh, column called folder, which is the first one, right? Amazing. So, and now let's go for the for the export. And uh, I already spoiled there will be a pivot table going for these folders. So this one did the export. So you now have here the, the exported file. I would recommend this pretty big on my, some machines, I guess. Um, maybe also do some cleanup before here, drop some, some uh, information you don't need. So basically in this overview, you don't need the page views, you don't need entrances. Uh, maybe you just want to go for the short URL, the final address, and the folder, and kick all the others. Then the file will be smaller. And then you could work with the file, but yeah, anyway. Um, this one is like the overview. So what's now easily possible for me is to tell that, okay, no one will start to cry if I delete uh, this, the articles within this uh, folder. And no one will start to cry if I probably delete within here. Um, but down here, maybe I need some feedback about uh, can I delete or not. So that's giving you a nice overview. And you saw how quickly this was generated compared to Excel. And yeah. So let's stop here. Um, as a follow up, maybe I will generate another video about uh, how to do it with uh, 
the Google Analytics API because this was all based on um, on uh, files, so Excel files and CSVs. And the other option would be maybe also to add some Google Analytics data. It's also possible to directly combine the Google Analytics and Google uh, Search Console data in here and uh, to do a better clustering. But now we will first check uh, what's in here. If we find some patterns, if we can delete immediately and check uh, what the feedback is. Okay, so that's it. Bye.